This is a typical bundle of uh, dormant bench grafts. And what we mean by dormant bench grafts, they come from the nursery and they're already grafted. And this is a graft union right here, or right here in this case. And this rootstock from here down to the root system is the, uh, the rootstock of choice on this particular site. But you can see this is basically where the graft union is on these uh, vines and they're pruned to two or three buds. The roots are very strong. There's a lot of fibrous roots. And the idea is to have these vines planted in a fashion that approximately three to four fingers uh, below the graft union is exposed above the soil surface. So that way cyan roots from the Cabernet don't start growing in the soil and therefore our vines are basically on own root. We want them to be on the rootstock itself. This is a waxy layer they put over when the uh, graft union is take, or when the grafting operation is taken place, and that's to help ensure that there's good cambium to cambium uh, coverage in the in the process. And it's just a waxy layer that comes off. And this tag here is a, a reference tag to what has actually been purchased from the nursery. And this is Cabernet Sauvignon number 169 or clone 169 on 110R. In general, one of the main characteristics of 110R rootstock is the fact that roots actually grow downward. And these are considered to be drought tolerant in, by nature. So they are an excellent choice for hillside vineyards, rocky soils where there's not a lot of supplemental irrigation available. And you can see there's a nice volume of fibrous roots here that will also establish themselves. The nice thing about a rootstock like this is the fact that these roots again are going pointing downwards where some characteristics of rootstocks are more horizontal outward like this and shallow rooted and they, they have a preference for different soil types. But again with these rocky type of soils or hillsides where there's not a lot of water, uh, they are probably one of the best choices that we can utilize.